given your experience, what one piece of advice would you like to give to tech startups who are just, just about to go along that journey? What would you think would be the best piece of advice you can give them? Um, well, certainly for us, uh, we felt like we're at this juncture now where we have been working on a product. And we are, both really enjoy that, you know, working on a product, developing out the features. Um, it's really nice fit, and we both enjoy that. You, you're constantly improving something, you're building it, you're crafting it, uh, and then you're releasing it out there. And uh, you know, so the first thing we had to learn was we had to get something out there before it was perfect. Uh, to get it out, get something that people could use, and get that MVP um, in people's hands so you can start getting feedback. But um, really, the next thing that where we're at now is we've got that out there, and there's a temptation to keep working on it and keep just saying, well, if we just get this other feature built, then it's going to just take off and go you know, viral and uh, that's going to be it for us. And actually, we're at a point now where we're realizing we have to market this. Um, we, it's good enough that we should be able to go from you know, a couple of hundred customers to a thousand customers over the next couple of months. So, uh, but with, that's hard because I think there's a, you know, what we enjoy doing is working on the product. Um, and, and so we're having to, you know, bite the bullet and say, I'm not a product. Kind of. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, if we can't, you know, if we can't market it, it's not going to work. And yeah. uh, no matter how good it is. So it's just that point of saying, look, you have to, you have to hit a point where you stop working on the product. Um, obviously, if you've got a good enough, big enough team, you can kind of keep it go the development going in parallel. But for us, as a small team, we have to stop. We have to start looking at AdWords and blogging and all sort of inbound marketing channels and say how are we going to scale this um, to, to go to a bigger market. Um, so that's really, that's, where, that's my advice is get your MVP out sooner uh, and, and stop working on the product and start doing the marketing sooner as well. Don't think I that should features are going to make it um, successful. I should uh, play uh, MVP for anybody who doesn't know this minimal viable product. And then um, that must be hard after all the blood, oh, sweat, yeah. and tears. Yeah, so, I mean, they always, I've heard that if you're not embarrassed by your first um, product release, you know, you've you waited too long. And uh, you definitely were on our third iteration now. Um, and uh, we, you know, the first one was pretty painful because we knew it could be better, but it was really valuable. And uh, you know, the other thing, I suppose, is to say, you know, test the wallets, find out for something somebody something for free. Um, but you know, it's, it was when only when we got our first paying customer that we really knew we had something that uh, we could actually turn into a business. And uh, you know that's the next sort of metric. So um, you have to ask people for money as well. And that, I know other companies that get an MVP out early and then never ask for money um, or wait a long time because they want to they're too scared of being rejected. So so asking for money as well. Yeah, no, that yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's yeah. really good advice. Test the wallet.